Are you sure this is okay? You're in country, dude. Live a little. Now she's pretty sensitive, so go easy on the throttle, okay? All right. Okay, so for those of you guys who don't know, I took a really long ride on the scooter the other day to make sure it was gonna hold up. Um, yeah, I drove it like 150 miles all in one day, so I was cruising most of the way, too. I was going like 80. So we definitely had it on the highway. I rode it all the way out to Zephyr Hills, Florida. By the time I got home, I was getting some really nasty vibrations in my CVT case, which I figured. That's why we test these things. Oh, this thing's got 5,000 miles on it now. Some of the parts wear out at about 5,000. So I've gone ahead and put a new clutch on it. So just finished the new clutch install. So we got a whole new clutch, whole new belt, and a whole new variator set up on here. So this doesn't even have any wear marks in it yet. Here's the old one. And I think this was largely my problem. You can see the wear lines, it's all smooth now versus that one that's kind of like all serrated, it hasn't even been used yet. And um, you'll notice that I have flat spots on these. See that flat spot? Uh, that causes a lot of instability and vibrations and shakes. You can see all the different flat spots. So this is from 5,000 miles of use. You never want flat spots. And this one clearly has a lot of flat spots on these. Some of these are really bad. Some of them are perfect. Like this one, horrible. So uh, you're supposed to change your rollers, you know, every three to 4,000 miles. It's $7. It's very easy to do. Pull the bolt right here, pop this out, pop in your new ones. They go right behind here. Even though I have this screwed in a little bit, this is where the uh, roller weights go, is inside here. And um, yeah, so, we grease life. So I just went ahead and put all that on there, changed the air filter, cleaned everything, and we're getting this ready for the camping trip. Wanna make sure everything's good to go. So you can see I got some belt runoff over here, getting a little grease out of the belt line. So we gotta remount this, and uh, we're gonna take it for its first ride. Belt seems to be doing fine it's all nice and loose now i can spin it by hand so should be good to go it's a new clutch new belt new variators uh new torque spring um it's it's ready to rip tater chip so we're gonna put the old variator on the shelf the parts are still good um but these rollers were garbage and i figured you know what it's probably i'm just gonna get a whole new variator and uh call it a day so i have an extra variator here if anything happens to this one i got a a, a used one that came on it and um should be good to go so i'm gonna take this out for its first ride now should be able to get up to 85 or 90 miles an hour again no problem with no shakes everything seems to be working how it should so we're good to go a free spinning clutch the gears are doing good not much play there's always supposed to be a little nick uh, back and forth but other than that everything sounds healthy so should be good to go you know when i take this for we're taking this two and a half hours up to the top end of florida and we'll be riding this probably 90 percent of the time while we're up there we'll just be parking my truck and just cruising this around um that whole area that we're going to be at so yeah i like to keep up with my maintenance you guys know how to dur you know how to dur all right well, let me put the uh case back on here that way i'm not uh creating problems for myself and then we'll take this out for its first spin i'm gonna make sure these are crank down real fast I'm grab my eh, damn it it's it so far away uh, uh. grab my little impacky and we're gonna pack these down and then i gotta install a 12 volt power outlet so i can charge my phone or anything else i want to charge while i'm on the scooter because it's been needing one since i got it and we need to do that so let's get her done there we go that's all done that's all done and i did put the uh Exhaust wrap on there and now it's heating up and curing heating up and curing Before I can take the wires off. That's got some curing to do And I did simple install this for now That way I can plug this in if we're camping on the way if I need to plug my phone in or whatever while I'm out and about And as you can see a full-size helmet does fit perfectly underneath the seat the way they've designed this It is awesome plus you still have tons of extra storage space under here and you have this beautiful storage compartment so This thing it's perfect for camping Boop, just like that. Yeah! All right. The 300cc monster's ready to rip tater chip for the camping trip. We gonna have some fun. Virgin daiquiri life. <laughs> it's actually good. I've never had a virgin daiquiri without alcohol. I'm actually quite surprised. This is like orange, mango, pineapple, colada, something, something that's really good. And of course, my 
zero alcohol. I've never had Heineken zero either. I don't even know where it says it. It said it somewhere. I saw it somewhere. Oh, there we go. 0.0% 0 .0 alcohol free. What? What? It just gave me the peace sign. Hi. Yeah.